What's up guys? So I'm gonna continue the let's play of Game of Thrones episode 4. This one's called Sons of Winter and it came out a few days ago, I think what like a week ago. It took me a while to to finally get this started, I apologize, but life happens. So let's get started. I heard this one's really good. I haven't looked up anything so don't worry, I don't know anything about this. Previously on Game of Thrones. My father is planning to make a move against your family. He knows all your weaknesses, all your plans, because you have a traitor in your council. He's been sending a great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. We were told we'd be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. That's enough, Andros. North Grove. That's just some shit story for little kids. I've heard stories. Old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. I'm part of the free folk. People round here call wildlings. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Someone I can trust. And if it isn't Elena Glenmore, you're not still marrying into this wretched family. Perhaps we'll remain allies after all. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. If you presume to speak of my dragons, you best choose your words carefully. Are you going to be a good little forester, learn your lesson, and stay down? You can be Lord, Roderick, so long as we all know who holds the reins here. The foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the boy as your ward. Kill him if they give you any trouble. I never did tell you about your father, did I? We bled him at first. Like a pig. <laughs> it's like no matter how you did that it was like it was gonna turn out bad what I'm wondering though is if you kicked him off could you just say I don't know where he is you, you know like just like they'd never find his, his body I don't know <sighs> I knew you were a killer the day you arrived Seems Brit found out too. Now they all see it. What sort of brother you really are. It wasn't my fault. He attacked me and... And we fought and... So you struck him down and left him to die. You tried to lie about what you did to get here. But we both know you had blood on your hands. But now, you've killed one of your brothers. You'll lose your head for this, Tuttle. You'll be disgraced, dishonored, and burned till there's nothing left of you. I swear by all the gods, old and new, this was an accident. I didn't mean for him to die. <laughs> didn't mean it. Murder's in your blood. There's only one thing to be done with you now. Hey, Frostfinger. I saw what Garrett did to Brit last night. I was there. My relief was late, so I stayed behind. I saw everything. Go on, then. Yeah, he was there. Then go on. What did you see, boy? Come on, dude. Please. 
Help me, please. Garrett's telling the truth. Brit attacked him. Just like he said, Garrett had no choice but to fight back. There isn't a man at the wall who wouldn't sell his own mother for the right price. You two are up to something. Never. Some deal you worked out. Our brother wouldn't lie. Oh, he's, he's defending you for, Finn for some reason like I can't fathom. Finn's just being a good brother. I think. You can't watch a man die and just. <laughs> I think. I decide what justice is. Garrett killed a man of the watch. There's a price to be paid for that. Let's go. I knew it was a mistake to make you a ranger. Crossfinger. What's to be done with him? We're heading to Crustis. You'll have to find someone else for your expedition. Your man here still has a lot to answer for. Now out of the way, Snow. <coughs> Give us a moment. Then kiss him quick and be done with it. <laughs> Garrett. You told me there wouldn't be any trouble with Brit. Dude, there wasn't, what man. Happened? I thought you were smarter than I'm that. I'm sorry I let you down. I did the I right thought thing. You were it wasn't be by my, my side at Crestus. Um, I swear I honored my vows. Brit wanted a fight and I, I wouldn't give him one. I tried to stop it, honest. I believe you. Is there nothing to be done? Aside from removing Tuttle's head from his shoulders? No. But God. you're about to go off and execute a nest full of traitors at Crasters. How is this any different? God's be with you, Garrett. John. You're down a man. So keep your eyes open. Little pox. Let's move. I thought you had my back, man. You can go begging to your gods all you want, boy. It's the axe has the final say. So now I'm gonna have to escape, I bet. I think I w I'm really curious as to... Um, I'm gonna... You guys know I cut the music out on here just in case any copyright. But um, I'm really curious as to how other other playthroughs play out like is this something that always happens it feels like no matter what you do um no matter what you say you have to end up in the situation so that you could escape i'm guessing so that you could leave so you could go find the north grove or whatever it's called i don't know i'm really curious as to the differences in in that that choice has um i don't know it feels like something that's just it feels like a decision that's set in stone where it's like no you have to be kicked out of or in the situation where you're kicked out of the night's watch in order to flee and find the north grove i think i don't know <clears throat> now the the thing is you're gonna have to choose who you're gonna go with i bet you anything and i don't know i don't know who i should go with how many men have stood before me with false tales of my dragons? Desperate men, hoping for wealth, protection. <clears throat> Liars, every one of them. And I expect you are no different. It's the truth, I'm you not You don't like want those. to see what I do to liars. Especially those who seek to waste my time. I wouldn't lie to you, you have my word. Your word means nothing. Not when it is so easily bought. Oh, shit. Are you frightened? Is that the, that's the other dragon, dragon right? Before. Yeah. Your reaction says otherwise. One dragon was enough. I'm still getting used to it. He's Is smaller wrong? than the other one. He's, uh, he's much smaller than the other one.
Would you like to touch him? Go ahead. Unless you are afraid. Of course, a man who has really faced a dragon before may have reason to be afraid. Go on. Not a good idea, Asha. I'm inclined to agree with her on this one. He won't bite. Oh, God. <laughs> Daenerys, you punk. You're brave, at least. <laughs> I don't think he likes me. You still have a hand, don't you? You claim you saw Drogon. Give me a reason to believe you. Um, I told you I've heard this story before. Uh, I'm going to need more than that. Show the tooth. Show You're burns. asking for proof. Will that be a problem? My friend has the burns to prove it. It's likely to leave a scar. Your dragon did this. Well, he wouldn't. You must have tried to fight him. What have you done to him? Oh, Daenerys, please. Hurt him. Hurt him. He, he attacked us. Drogon wouldn't strike without reason. You must have scared him. He is not some kind of thought. We were beast. being chased. I'm He's sorry we didn't child. mean to. That dragon a is A child dangerous. who can breathe fire on whoever he likes. Um. He wouldn't harm anyone. Not unless he was attacked. The men who were following us, the Lost Legion, they drew their swords and tried to fight him. And Drogon defended himself. So we somehow deserve to be burnt alive because your little baby was scared. Shut up! Let me your do Your tongue the is dangerously sharp, sellsword. Just shut up, dude. Let me handle Why this. Why did you come here? You offer me nothing but lies. To what end? You want gold? A title? My undying gratitude. I just need your help. I want the second What do you want I from me? To avenge my Asher Forrester. I don't want your money. I just need your help. Help very often means money. My family is depending on me. I have to find an, an army. An army? If you could spare some of your swords, Please, if... I also came here looking for an army. But what I found were the cries of children. And people suffering in chains. They killed while a their child. Masters profited from their misery. My brother. My cell swords will help me free the slaves of Marine. That is their mission. Your need is not greater than theirs. That's what I want to. These are people who have suffered for years without end. What if we left after the liberation? Once the slaves are free. Once the slaves are free. Damn, the thing goes I will way sail too back fast. To Dude, I can't even read it. My crown. There is no after. There must be something I can do to convince you. As we speak, my men prepare to enter Marine. What they are about to do is much bigger than you or I. Bigger than one family back in Westeros. So, unless you <coughs> think you can storm Marine and free all the slaves yourself... You have nothing more to offer me. Croft? Oh, come on, dude. Freaking Daenerys, dude. You may leave. Oh, that's but it. Your Grace. See them out. Beska knows the city better than anyone, Your Grace. What the hell, Asher? Is this true? <sighs> Shut up, dude. Yes. I lived in Marine for a time. On the eastern side of the city. You should have told me. Fucking you should. Bastard. You should have told me what was wrong, dude. I don't know the what's going on with you, so you should have trusted me. So you me. wish to accompany them? You'd help the second sons, guide them into Marine. I can't, Asha. Why? This could be our only chance. Is that what you're saying? I can only speak for myself. Or yes, really if you consider my. They could prove valuable. Asha, please. I can only speak for myself. I'll go alone. She's the one who knows the city. She will accompany you, or you won't be going at all. She'll draw me a map. I believe that's more than fair. <laughs> you two will join Croft and his men. Get them into the city, help them liberate Marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. But your uncle stays here. If I find you've lied or put my men in danger... I understand. Good. Croft will get you settled in. Now can we trust it's her? It's going to be a long night. 
What the hell, dude? Told you I didn't want to go back to Marie. What the hell was that? I'm sorry about this. Enough complaining. What's your problem with Marie? What's the problem with you and Marie <laughs> anyway? It doesn't matter now, does it? Let's go. It your armor mattered up in earlier, here. but you didn't Extra say anything. If you need them. Piss buckets in the corner where it's always fucking been. <sighs> Long time since we had a piss bucket. I spent two years trying to get where I am now. Don't fuck this up for me, Asher. Nail! We got you should two tell more. her, dude, because I don't know, man. I think... She's just, I don't know, dude. I think she's gonna ruin the whole thing. Curse this bloody leg! It's not your leg that's a problem, Roderick. You've got to be practical. You wanna take Griff down next time? You wanna stop lying in the mud and letting people walk all over you? You're speaking to your lord, Sir Roiland. He can fight his own battles. You know why he had to stay down. Even so, it set a precedent. Is all this talking supposed to help? You can't just fight through the pain. You need to try something different. You can't handle a sword like you used to. So find another advantage. Surprise your opponent. Do something unexpected. Like what? I'll show you. Come at me. <clears throat> Bring your opponent down to your level. When I attack you, drop down, avoid my blade, and swing at the back of my knees. Wait for me to attack. Okay. Freaking A. I thought I was gonna have to like move the little Let's cursive thingy. Oh, it's a. Okay. Almost. Again. Ha! Now that's how you do it. <laughs> I think you let me. Oh! My lord, sorry to interrupt. Elena. Who's that? She insisted on seeing you immediately. Who's that for? Robin Hood? Lady Elena, I hear we're to become sisters. Oh, yeah. Tell Let's go you. shopping. Uh oh. Roderick, now what? Can I speak with you? Privately. You remember my little brother? Quiver? Good gods, you've grown. You could just call me Arthur now. I hope you don't mind us coming unannounced. But something's happened. I didn't know what else to do. I don't need more trouble. You're Maybe always this is welcome. a bad idea. You. You're always welcome here. We're here to be married. You'll be calling Iron Wrath home soon. Yes, well, um... That's why I came, actually. Lord Whitehill paid my father a visit at Rillwater Crossing. He told my father Griff had subdued you, and... And that my sister would make a fine reward. As if I'm some token to be handed around. You mean... What? He demanded I end Albatrothal and marry his son, Griff, instead. What? Lud threatened my family. Told my father if he refused, would be slaughtered along with you. Father acted the damn coward. He agreed, Roderick. I am to marry Griff Whitehill. You can't marry Arrogant my enemy. We'll stop this prick. together. You. I still can't believe Father agreed to it. Elena, we're in this together. I won't let this happen. Dude, but what about the little helped. brother? But my father won't kill listen. him. 
I'm not going to be the bone they throw that howling dog. I'm not going to be some prize for him to rip open. We have to get rid of him. I can't think of any other way. My father won't marriage. see reason. Griff is Lord Whitehill's made up his mind. And so have I. Talk like it's as simple as walking up to him and putting a knife in his heart. He's protected by a garrison of his own soldiers. We have a way around that. He's like, oh, wait, they're not coming out? <laughs> oh, damn. You brought your men. I command Father's elite guard. These men are trained archers, swordsmen, experts in both ranged and close combat. They're yours. If you'll help us take down Griff. The whole guard? Twenty men. My father still thinks they're aboard a ship bound for the Reach. What do you have to lose, Roderick? <gasps> oh my god. Griff has been a nightmare for you. They and still your have house. Ryan. You can't have any reason to keep him around. Whitehill still have my little brother. If I hurt Griff, there's no telling what they'll do to Ryan. I understand your worry, Roderick. I don't want Ryan hurt any more than you do. <sighs> I know this might sound mad, but it's the only way. Get rid of Griff. And you'll be free to use the guard however you like. You can finally take control of your house again. Please, promise me you'll do this. Oh my god. I love you, Roderick. I'll do I it don't if want I must. Griff. No, I don't want any of this. You have my problem. Will you help me? I would be happy to. Oh, freaking hell. Thank you, Roderick. Griff won't even see it coming. They're but gonna... men are yours to command. Thank you, Quill. Arthur. Could you give us a moment? You don't know how much this means to me. To us, I should say. Maybe when this is all over, we could play hide and seek in the grove again. Pretend we're still children. Forget all that's happened these last few years. I love you, Helena. I love you too. There's got to be a way to save Ryan, dude. Oh my god. The, um, what's her name? The, oh what god, what's her name? The sister. The sister of, the, the daughter of, of Whitehill. <sighs> she, she was like, you can't hurt, Ra oh, what's his name? Can't because be he'll hurt Ryan ready. and this and that. Our kings just get younger and younger. <sighs> Tommen's not ready. He's too soft. <laughs> Maybe that was the imp's plan. I wonder if Marjorie Tyrell will be there today. You mean Queen Marjorie? She was married to Joffrey. Hmm. For all I of one hour. Marry his brother too. Not to I mention put Cersei and her. Jaime. Oh, shh. The Lannisters have spies everywhere. What is it, Tom? I remember that warning you'd heard from Roderick. About Whitehill's contact. Did you find anything? Only whispers. But your brother's right. Lud Whitehill. Lud Whitehill is sending a great deal of gold to someone here in King's Landing. He's definitely up to something. I already knew that. Something I big. bet I know who. But I don't know what. I bet it's one of those ironwood merchants. Lord Morgren and Lord Andros. It's hard to say. Lord Whitehill is surprisingly secretive. They'll both be at the feast after Tommen's coronation today. Maybe you can learn something. I can't go. Marjorie's... She's not exactly happy with me right now. I've been uninvited. Couldn't Sarah help? Ask her to get you in. She'd do it, right? Oh, for, this Don't is my business. Look out for each other. I'll ask her. We are friends. I'm sure I think she'd help if I asked her. It's a good plan, then. Not really, but I'll try. It's nearly time. Just 
Be careful, Lady Mira. King's Landing seems to have it in for you. So Lord Whitehill is sending money to, like, a lot of money to someone in King's Landing. Which is maybe why they tried to kill her. Whoever, the, the Justin Timberlake that tried to kill her was probably Whitehill's dude. Hey, what are you doing out here? There's leftover honey cake in the kitchens. Have to guard this one. Locked him up in the old storeroom until morning. That the one who killed Brit? He's not going anywhere. Come on. Oh, you'll be back before anyone notices. All right. Maybe just a quick bite. He's likely to freeze to death out here anyway. I don't think I trust the wildling. If I have to choose between the big guy and the wildling, I think I want to go with the big guy. I don't trust the world. Because he stole from me. Must be the latrine. I'm not sticking around to use it. Sack of onions. Pick up. Onions and crab apples. At least I won't starve to death. If I ever find a way out of here. Okay. Rusty trowel. This might help. What is that? That might be useful. Okay. Probably covered with fleas. There's so many decisions in 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 this game that are so hard <laughs> where you're oh, like, I don't rotten. know. This is all bloody useless. You don't know if you're if you're like if you're making a mistake. It's so it you just feel so bad about everything you choose. Loose stone. Loose stone. Look at it. Use trawl with look at it first. Oh, this one looks loose. Garrett! Oh, this guy. Potter, what are you doing here? I heard him talking. You're to be executed in the morning. What about Finn? He told Nobody them... Nobody believes him. Or don't want to. They think he's covering for you. Some are even saying he helped you do it. I have to get out of here. That's why I came. I want to help. Well, you'd be executed too. Why would you want to help me? I told you my secret. And you said you were my friend. But what kind of friend would I be if I left you to die here? So I'm getting you out of here. Hello, I don't want to hear any complaints. Why would you do this? I'm not sure I believe you. What? Why are you really doing this? I wasn't lying, Garrett. What? Well... well there is another reason. I want to go with you to the North Grove. You know I can't stay here. I'm leaving Castle Black, but I'd rather not go it alone. So if you're going north, I'm coming with you. Well, I'm not going anywhere unless I can get out of this bloody storeroom first. Oh, dude. <clears throat> I can try and pick the lock, but I'm not sure it will work. It's rusted a bit inside. Just keep a I look out. Try, but keep trying. May not do any good. There's a loose can you see stone. any other way out? There's a loose stone over here. Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah. It's not moving though. Keep trying. Let me see what I can do. Here's the thing with with this guy. Like this is this is my, this is what's going on in my head. So. My uncle told me to not tell anybody about the North Grove, right? And she, he's and, and the other dude, what was his name? The Lord that died in the beginning. 
he didn't want anyone to know either. I mean, I didn't even tell his wife about it. So I'm like, why so secretive? It's on the other side of the wall. Is it something that should be kept safe from the wildlings? Like, is it something that, that the wildlings shouldn't know about? Because this guy seems so interested and he's a wildling. Why would he be interested in it? It's like a legend and all that. What if he is doing this for his own benefit? Like, you know what I mean? Like to benefit the wildlings and not so much me. Like what if he turns on me once once we find the North Grove? That's that's my that's my thing. Like that's why I don't want to tell him. I prefer to take someone that doesn't know anything about it. I doubt that. Grab him! Don't just stand there! He is not the Lord! 